Hey guys, Roast here with big MMO news. Today, we got news of a game called Blue Protocol from Sun Game Studios. In this video, I'll cover everything you need to know, like release date, combat styles, and potential classes, and how you can customize your character, so don't miss out. If you're new, make sure to like and subscribe for more updates too. With that said, let's get started with what Blue Protocol is. Blue Protocol is a free-to-play action-adventure MMO with, I think, a lot of similarities to Genshin Impact. And all of the, you know, runoffs that have come from that. You can choose between five different classes as you journey through time in an effort to save the planet Regnus. And from what I've read, I'm not sure if you travel to multiple planets or if you just travel all over the world and a bunch of people are from different planets, but we'll find out. In a definitely unique twist, Regnus is going to be destroyed and only you can save it by going back in time to alter the future before it comes reality. <laughs> Blue Protocol also has a lot of character customization, so once you start playing, you can make your character look exactly how you want to. With a brief intro to the game covered, let's get into the different classes. So, uh, there are a total of five classes in Blue Protocol, and they will revolve around the weapon you have equipped. This allows you to adapt. This allows you to adapt to different combat challenges without necessarily having to change your custom character. Like I said, there are five classes total, and each of them offers a unique playstyle. First, Blade Warden is a sword and shield character who presumably is focused on being able to soak up lots of damage and tank for the team. The Twin Striker wields dual hatchets and berserks up close for lots of damage. The Keen Strider is the bow and arrow class that is best at long range, AoE, and even support. The Spell Weaver is a party-oriented mage class that has long range, but also a higher difficulty curve, and hopefully lots of damage. And last but not least, the Foe Breaker carries a massive hammer to clobber enemies and shake the earth. Each of these classes has different skills, and you can equip up to four at any time per weapon. These skills will also alter depending on which class you t which path you take in the class trees, so I'd love to say more, but I don't know yet. <laughs> Another important part of combat will be Mystical Echoes. These are powerful attacks that you can kind of absorb from dangerous enemies that you've previously defeated. And I imagine you'll use them in a similar fashion to the abilities you get from the Fallen Champions in Breath of the Wild. And the last couple things I want to mention are that Blue Portal Call can either be played single player or multiplayer. And the multiplayer goes up to at least four person co-op. In addition to that four person co-op, there should be raids later on that require you to form larger raiding parties just like in other MMOs like WoW and Guild Wars 2 and such. Also, by the way, there are mounts, so don't worry about playing Walking Simulator like other MMO. And last but not least, the release date for a closed beta of Blue, beta of Blue Protocol is the first half of 2023, with a full launch being expected in the second half of 2023. For now, that's all I know about Blue Protocol, but if you want to see more, make sure to subscribe to the channel. I am planning on talking about this game more and more as it gets closer to launch, and while I haven't heard much, I am still very much hoping for crafting and gathering to be super important. Big thanks to my patrons for supporting the channel, and thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed, but until next time, keep beefy, boys. Hello there. Bada.